guys can have a seat. Hey everyone, my name is Austin. And I'm Jody. And this is our son, Noah. Yep. <laughs> So we want to dedicate Noah because we believe it's important that we raise him uh, in the community of faith and we want you guys watching to help hold us accountable to raise him in this community to follow after and, and love Jesus with all of his heart. Some ways that we hope to help Noah grow his faith are through family worship and psalm singing, scripture memory, and reading his Bible with him every night before bed. What she said. <laughs> <laughs> You don't have anything you want to add? Oh man, God be gracious. Hi, I'm Wade Carino. I'm Rebecca Carino. This is Jack Carino and our baby girl, Ruby Carino, who we're dedicating today. We are dedicating Ruby today because it's important to both of us that um, we are accountable to the church and the members of the church and that they know that we are trying to raise her in a way that is uh, pleasing to the Lord. So we try to make a habit of reading a kid's Bible story to both the kids um, at night and we pray with them afterwards. Obviously, sometimes that doesn't go as smoothly with Ruby, but um, she is, we started that with Jack and it's something that we're, we brought her into in the last few months. Um, and then definitely trying to model uh, Christian love, you know, from me to Becca and from myself to both the kids. <laughs> and uh, just what obedience and love looks like in a, in a marriage. Jack. <laughs> That's amazing. They're always watching their kids. So even at her age, she's still watching us. She still is watching our attitudes. And um, we just make sure that we're trying to be as Christ-like as we can, showing them love. Jordan Lanfear. Amberly Lanfear. Good. Amelia Lanfear. This is Satan Lanfear. So we want to participate in the dedication because uh, a seed planted in good soil prospers. And <laughs> this is the foundation. This is the pivotal moment. Of, of a new life and so this is foundationally setting it on a good course and uh, and and we're, we're he's a wonderful guy and we're looking forward to seeing how he's gonna grow up devotions as much as possible it's tough because he's doesn't really speak you know and doesn't sit still too long this is amazing that he's doing that um, but devotions praying and uh, like she said showing him the way through through an example. Everybody give it up for these families. Now, you may have noticed we call it parent-child dedication. Why do we call it parent-child dedication, not just simply uh, child dedication? Well, we believe two things. One is this truly is a symbolic moment. Um, we see this in the scriptures of parents like symbolically saying, Lord, this is your child. Um, Lord, we need your strength. We need your grace to raise this child. They are doing that. They are a part of this symbolic act right now saying, Lord, please be gracious to us and this child. Also, we know this. Nobody is more influential in the life of a child than a parent. So we know it just doesn't happen. Disciples just don't simply happen by chance. No, like God uses parents. Parents shape children more than any other human being alive. And so what you're going to see here today are these parents saying, I take responsibility for shaping our children in such a way that points them to Jesus. So this is profoundly important. Hey, and this is kids, so it's going to be a little bit loud, and that's okay. A couple of things. Uh, the first is because of your generosity, we're giving all eight families that are apart, three in this service, five in next service, um, just resources to be great parents. The first is uh, The Disciple Making Parent. It's a book that just kind of gives you a comprehensive guide on how to make a little disciple. Uh, secondly, it's the Jesus Storybook Bible. And so we want to give every child a, a, a Bible, and then we want to give every parent um, an opportunity just to learn more about how to create um, a little disciple in their house. So this is what we're going to do. I, I know we don't typically do this, but we're going to do a reading and response time. 
And so this, this is how it's going to look. We're going to do four commitments. We're going to read what the commitment is, and they're going to say, yes, we accept this responsibility. And then church, we're going to do a reading and response time where you make a commitment because we know this, it takes a village to raise a child. That, that, if anybody can help right now, no. Parents, your child is a gift. It says in Psalms 127, 3 through 5, Behold, children are a heritage from the Lord, the fruit of a womb of a reward. Like arrows in the hand of a warrior are the children of one's youth. Blessed is the man who fills his quiver with them. He shall not be put to shame when he speaks with his enemies in the gate. Parents, do you understand that your child is a gift from God and you are to treat them as this gift? Yes, Yes. we accept this responsibility. Great job, great job. Parents, you have a very great responsibility to train your child up. It says in Proverbs 22, 6, train up a child in the way that they should go and when they are old, he will not depart from it. Parents, You are to train uniquely your children in the way that they should go. Do you understand and accept this responsibility to train them up? Yes, we accept this responsibility. You guys are really good at this. Parents, you are to teach through deed and word. It says in Deuteronomy 6, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your might. And these are the words that I command you today shall be on your heart. You should teach them diligently to your children and shall talk of them when you sit in the house and when you walk by the way and when you lie down and when you rise. You shall bind them as a sign on your hand and they shall be on the frontlets between your eyes. You shall write them on the doorpost of your house and on your gates. Parents, do you accept the responsibility to teach your kids both through word and deed? Parents, there is no greater joy than your kids walking with Jesus. It says in uh, 3 John uh, 4, it says, I have no greater joy than to hear that my children are walking in the truth. Parents, do you understand and accept this responsibility that there's no greater joy than your kids walking with Jesus? Yes, we accept this responsibility. Okay. Church, are you ready? It's now our time to make this commitment. Redemption, it takes a community to cultivate a strong faith in our children. It says in Hebrews 10, um, let us consider how to stir one another up to love and good works, not neglecting to meet together as is the habit of some, but encouraging one another and all the more as you see the day drawing near. Redemption Church, do you accept this responsibility to help encourage and support these parents in raising the next generation of Jesus followers? Yes. Great job. If you don't mind, we're going to pray over these families. Father, this is family. Sometimes it's loud. Sometimes it feels like chaos. But we know that this is where disciples are made. Father, I pray that you would be gracious to these families. I pray for the dads that you give them wisdom, discernment, and leadership in their home, that they guide and direct these kids to love you with all their heart. I pray for these mommies. I pray that you would give them the strength when they feel like they have none, that you would encourage them when they feel discouraged that you would help them be wise and discerning moms to guide and lead these children to faith. I pray that these kids grow up and they love and they follow you. I pray that the baton of faith is passed to the next generation. And it's in Jesus' name I pray, amen. Everybody give it up for these families as they exit the stage. Go ahead and exit the stage. Hey, this is family, right? It looks like this in real life.